Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily read. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so we got the moon card coming out. I ask the cards, how does Aquarius person, whomever you're coming to the reading for, how does this person feel about you, Aquarius? And we have the moon card. So this person could be of two minds about you right now, okay? With the moon card. They uh, they also have mixed feelings, mixed emotions about you. They, they feel like you and them are very different. Uh, they feel like there's a lot of mystery surrounding uh, maybe even they feel like something is hidden. This person could be denying their feelings for you, hiding their feelings for you also. They, they could feel like either you're the wild one and they're the domesticated one or vice versa. They're domesticated. You're domesticated and they're wild. It, they feel like you both want the same thing, but you go about life and you go about getting that thing differently. Therefore, it causes conflict. They feel like you stir their emotions in a very, okay, a very toxic way. I don't know. Yeah, this person could feel like nine of swords, you make them very anxious, a lot of anxiety. They're thinking about something that happened. You guys are maybe separated or there's a bit of estrangement. There's not a whole bunch of communication going back and forth. And, and in this being apart, they think about what happened, what was said, what was done. It brings them a lot of mental conflict and then emotional conflict. So they're in two minds about you. Yes, I like or I love the Aquarius, but I'm also a little bit apprehensive, you know, standoffish towards this because for whatever reason. You may have said some things to them because you felt like it was warranted. It was necessary. You may have done something. You may have ghosted them, you, whatever it was. But this is how your person feels. So don't beat me up. But, you know. Your person is kind of like in the dark night of the soul. They have to think about what they did, what they said, what they didn't do. They have to think about maybe coming back together or not. Um, your person is at that place where the emotions and the thoughts just are kind of attacking them. They can't get away from it anymore. You know, they have to... They have to study on this. They have to decide, is this really over? Because the nine of swords can talk about, you know, the beginning of the end, the culmination. Is this it? How does Aquarius feel about their person? How does Aquarius, okay. Wow, the ten of swords. So Aquarius, you can feel like it is over. It's definitely over. Uh... The 10 is about completion, uh, the fullness of a thing. You know, there's no more. Now, you could feel like it's over in terms of negativity, a toxic cycle, the volatility of the relationship, um, the scapegoatedness, the playing victim. You could feel like all of that is over, and maybe you guys are going to start a new. Or you could just feel like the relationship altogether is over. You you guys are just not coming back together. Ever. Not in any romantic capacity. You could feel blindsided, Aquarius. Also, you felt maybe betrayed. You felt betrayed, blindsided, backstabbed. You felt like, you know, this relationship was just, it, it was a roller coaster. Maybe you're at a place of just not being able to cope with the fact that it's over, Aquarius. For some of you, everybody's going to be different. If it fits, you know, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay. 
what's the energy between Aquarius and their person? What's the energy between Aquarius and their person? The Six of Pentacles. Uh, balance. Uh, balance, peace, sharing, caring. There's also, you know, the power dynamic has shifted. Or there's always somebody trying to stay in power. There's also somebody feeling like they've given away their power. There's also an energy of somebody saying, I'm always waiting for, I'm waiting for the Aquarius to reach out to me or vice versa. The, the Aquarius is waiting for the person to reach out to them. That's for, therefore they have all the power in the relationship or vice versa. Whomever is the, the giver, they have the power. They have the upper hand, if you will, the upper hand, if you will. It's, it's always an, a question of who has the power here. It's almost like it's a game. Not entirely, but it's like a, a, a quest to see who can dominate. What's the outcome here? What's the outcome for the Aquarius? So you got the chariot, you got the two of swords and the two of pentacles. So there's some decision that needs to be made here. And you always have this card at the bottom of the deck, the 10 of pentacles. Um, the chariot, you gotta be focused, you know, laser focused on if, are you gonna steer this relationship in a new direction? It says chart a new path or, or take something in a new direction so that you can have victory and fulfillment. Maybe even learn how to govern your emotions and your thoughts accordingly. Maybe get them on one accord. The two of swords is um, learning how to negotiate Learning how, learning compromise. Could be dealing with a Libra. Maybe learning to, that everything doesn't have to be spoken about or everything you think doesn't have to be said. Okay. You might have to walk away from this this union, this partnership, and then come back to it, give it some time. It says that reconciliation is in the cards, but it won't last if you don't come back to the table with um, a plan, a course of action, a cooperation, and learning how to compromise and negotiate. The two of pentacles, it says that this relationship, this union is up in the air. You know, it's, it's a toss up. Uh, the jury is still out. Maybe someone is watching you or you're still watching someone to see how they're going to show up. Is this just an act or is this real change? Because the two of pentacles talks about change. Somebody feels like this is a forever union. This is a forever relationship with the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's dedicated to the relationship no matter what. Yeah, somebody's dedicated to the relationship no matter what. The advice also in the Ten of Pentacles is that, you know, happy, organized people create legacy, empire. 
So you need to be happy and you need to be organized and organized in the, in the fashion of, you know, you're doing this so that you can get here. You need to have your sights set on the end game, the end goal here. It's too much of somebody being drilled down on the mundane and the petty and the the argument and the frustration and the back and forth and the in and out and the cutting off and the walking away and the coming back and how do you build anything i mean well just think about it if you're at a construction site and you want to build the the new skyscraper and uh you know all of the construction people are there on monday and the construction is being done on tuesday they don't show up on wednesday they don't show up on thursday they don't show up they show up on friday they don't show up on monday it just oh, just stopping this go you're never going to get anything built the skyscraper will take ages and that is what the cars are trying to tell some of my aquarius here how do you construct anything if you keep leaving the construction site? So some of you need to get to a place. Some of you, with this two of swords, you don't have staying power. It's easier to walk away and then come back to it. But then you have to start at scratch. Let's get Aquarius some... Butterfly Oracle cards. Let's see. What is the advice for the Aquarius? What do you want to tell the Aquarius? Okay. Motivation. Self-employment. Some of you need to be motivated to be self-employed. Um, also, you need to put your motivation into your self-employment and your new exercise program. Right now, you need to put time and energy into things that you can control. You do not control the outcome in terms of this love relationship for whatever reason. You also need to focus on religion and spirituality. You need to have some growth in terms of religion and spirituality. This will help govern you in your, your day to day life too. The cards want you to keep the faith in whatever it is you're hoping and wishing and praying for. All together, be true to you. Do what feels good in terms of you, in terms of what adds value to you. All right, we're going to end it out with some Kipper cards. What is the fortune for the Aquarius? So this would be more so foretelling. So it would be futuristic. What's the fortune for the Aquarius? Fortune. High honor. Very nice. So you could be getting public recognition, getting recognized for doing some high quality work. Um, people putting you on the you know your work or your body of work or you on a you know you get on that pedestal there because um of what you're producing very nice wow sudden wealth be involved in the things that you can control love right now is out of your control uh sudden wealth all of a sudden things could really line up for you you can get some instant manifestation um uh, good luck Let's see. Wow. In your occupation and you got self-employment, right? Yeah, you got self-employment, occupation. And occupation talks about self-employment, the work that you do for yourself. Um, you're your own boss. Um, so it looks like Aquarius, right now, your energy needs to be in work on you on things that you can control um 
because love is once again out of your control right now um it's kind of it's a toss-up okay yeah somebody is still concerned you or another person is still maybe even slipping into going back and forth in their minds with that moon card first showing up maybe even slipping into a depression could be same sex you get a mature male here somebody's just trying to be very precise about their decision their decision in terms of this relationship there's a lot of players here there's a lot of people showing up in these cards Anyhow, Aquarius, we're going to go with the message of be involved in the things that you can control, and that is your earning potential, whether it be self-employment or it is your nine to five job, be involved in that because you can control that. Love right now is a toss up um, and you really don't control what happens there. So this is what I have. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Oh, this card. Okay. All right, let me leave you with this. Okay, the soulmate card. The soulmate card. Soulmate. Let's see. What do we have to say to the Aquarius? Yeah, love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. Wow. So, yeah if I mean that sums it up love you as much as you want your soulmate to love you 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 so focus on you Aquarius um, because right now it's disharmony between you and someone else harmony is pure love for love is complete agreement it's a, and you and someone else are just not on good terms or in agreement right now and there's disharmony that doesn't mean that it can't be changed it doesn't mean that it, it will be changed or it won't be it's a toss-up you know I'm just gonna be honest with that two of pentacles and two of swords um so just put energy into you okay put energy into you aquarius all right that's what I have. Um, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. This is the time to book your readings because there's so many sales and going on for the new year. Get your six-month tarot card reading done. You can also get a 10-minute tarot card uh, video reading sent to you. Um, you can also ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night where you can ask questions also. Um, what else is there to do? Oh yeah, you could uh, learn the tarot with me too. We have the tarot classes linked below. Thank you guys, many blessings to you. Take care.